Invisible Lady coming at you with Leo Life Application Overview of the Sunday School Lesson entitled Call to Break Down Barriers for Sunday, August 13th, 2017. What are barriers? Barriers can be described as something that blocks or slows down the progress. Some barriers can be described as self-inflicted, other people inflicted, or communication. In our Sunday School Lesson today, an angel advised Philip an evangelist who may have been coming from a speaking engagement or on his way to one to go down south on the desert road from Jerusalem to Gaza. This road may have been a less traveled road because it was too hot. While walking down the road, he saw an Ethiopian eunuch riding on a chariot, probably coming from Jerusalem where he had gone to worship. Ethiopia is located on the continent of Africa. What do we know about the Ethiopian eunuch? We know that he was in charge of all the fine, all the treasury or finances of the Kandeke, which means Queen of the Ethiopians. So he was probably some type of chief financial officer for the queen, a prestigious position that requires knowledge and understanding of financial matters. When Philip saw the Ethiopian, he ran up to the chariot. He was reading about the prophet Isaiah. Remember? When God called Isaiah to be a prophet, our messenger for him, he spoke to Isaiah, the seraphim, in his vision. Philip then asked the Ethiopian if he understood what he was reading. He did not, but felt he needed or wanted someone to explain it to him. The Ethiopian invited Philip to sit on the chariot with him. The passage of scripture that the Ethiopian read referred to Jesus' crucifixion, comparing it to how sheep are slaughtered and suffer in silence. There was no justice, but much love displayed for humanity when Jesus gave his life for us. During their dialogue, Philip had the opportunity to share Jesus with the Ethiopian. Just as important was that Philip did not hold onto the barrier of hate because the Ethiopian looked different from him. As Philip and the Ethiopian continued to travel down the road, they came across some water. At this point, the Ethiopian expressed his desire to be baptized. So Philip baptized him and then mysteriously disappeared after that. The Ethiopian then continued his journey, feeling happy and rejoicing. Life Application Overview Points We should have positive intentions or motivation for what we do. We don't know what the person we approach may need or may just need someone to talk to especially if they are having a stressful day. Someone may be able to shed light on something we are, may be struggling with to understand. We should be the face of justice, peace, and grace in our relationships. Don't let someone's physical difference keep us from making a positive difference in his or her life or stop us from being friendly towards that person. Knowledge of the scriptures help us to know what we are talking about when we share the word. We gain wisdom from the inspired word of God as well as from our own life experiences. And applying the word to our everyday life matters.